records. So what it is, old, old records, um, you know, how I feel for the day, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't understand, like, um, how, how this shit comes to me or when I feel the urge to work, you know, it just happens. It's like, like I said, it's a move, you know what I'm saying? Some days I wake up and I might not want to make anything, yeah. but I get a phone call from Pete Rock. It's back to laugh. Yeah, man, so it's like, yeah. anything will push me like that, like that, like that. When we made the decision to do anti-American graffiti, I can think back to when we first heard the song, it was in the profit bar. And I'm pretty sure D and some other people in the band had already heard it, but I, I, I was aware of J-Dub, but I hadn't heard of that track until I heard RC and the Grits playing, and I was like, man, what is that? I was sitting there thinking it was a, you know, RC and the Grits original, and then they had to educate me, let me know, hey, no, that's Jay Dillon. So, we try to pay homage to, to good music, and pay homage to those who recognize good music. So we really do appreciate a lot that RC and the Grits does for the recognition of music and definitely their music on the Dallas scene. So us being able to recreate this uh, kind of pays homage to both. Jay Dilla, the man, he's a big impact on my life as well as my drum playing. Uh, I think it was either 95 or 96 or something, but uh, when um, I heard Slum Village, and I have to thank Robert C. Wright and Chris Daddy Dave for introducing me to Jay Dilla, because ever since then, I've been the biggest fan. I have still yet to keep up with all of his records, but I, rem I know most of them. One of the most influential producers, in my opinion, and especially amongst the band, is uh, Jay Dilla. And what he has done and his impact on not just hip hop, but music in general, and sampling and, and just the art of it. You know, it's really incredible. And so, uh, one of his songs, Anti American Graffiti, uh, is one of our favorite songs to play. Uh, as a band and individually, I mean, I just, I just like to practice. 